Hey, I'm here uh, today because I want to announce basically FMS Pro, which is a, a new digital community, an online private community um, just for FinPub. And the reason I'm announcing it today because it's not available today is I want your feedback. And so uh, as a favor to me, if you're part of the FMS community, um, would you please listen to this and comment below this video um, on some of the questions that I'm going to have at the end? Because um, I'm working really hard with my team, the team actually of people, it's not just me, um, to make a private community just for FinPub that is extraordinarily valuable. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this is after a decade of running FMS, um, I've learned a ton of things about the industry. I've learned a ton of things about how business gets done in the industry and about what's useful and not useful and where all the opportunities kind of are. And based on some a bunch of things, I think that right now there is an, just a crap ton of business opportunity um, for all of us to grow quite aggressively um, that is going to require more than just some of the in-person stuff that we do. And so if you've been coming to FMS for a long time, then you know kind of all the, all the stories from people who, who are basically how much money people make at the end at the thing. You know, I get people who come up to me and they're like, hey man, I got a $250,000 a month contract for our agency um, because of that intro you gave us. You know, I got people who come up to me and they're like, hey, we got like, just want you to know last year I made 500K personally because of that person you introduced me to and you walked me up to them at the end of the event. Um, I've had publishers who are like, hey, we made $20 million off of that guru that you introduced us to. And tons of copywriters. This is like the most rewarding part of running these businesses like this, like the, the, the events is, you know, I get copywriters and people who are coming up to me and they're like, hey, like your introductions literally gave me my career. Thank you. And, you know, they got people who are like, they got the biggest clients, my biggest advertisers, all that kind of stuff. We got folks like Andrew Keen, who is amazing. Um, but he's, you know, he said from the stage many times that most of the money he's made, if not all the money he's made in the last several years has come from contacts he's made through FMS. And that's why he's so passionate about being, um, the MC at the at, at FMS and why he's actually um, already like been like pushing me to make sure that he's a part of a very active part of this new community because we were talking about it and so he's one of the team members who's going to be really heavily in here and so you know I mean if you come to FMS you know how how valuable it's been to you um, better than I do you know what kind of inter what kind of relationships and that, that you've gotten. Um, beyond just information, just like the people that you found and, and do business with, how helpful they've been to you, whether it's as affiliates or ad swap partners, um, or just as a colleague in the industry to be able to talk to um, and share information and stuff. So um, I know from running live events that there are limitations on live events, right? Because one of the things that happens is even within like kind of the existing connected industry, uh, not as many people come to an in-person event as could do business with all the people who are there, right? So, you know, we have a very powerfully passionate crowd of people who come, um, but they don't all come, not everybody comes every year. Some people come every other year. Some people come every three years. Um, some people um, come, but they don't bring everyone on their team who could do business there. So a lot of things fall through the cracks. And so even though we get a ton of business there, um, I know that just within the existing universe of companies that, that, that everyone's kind of familiar with, um, there's probably five times the amount of business that you could be doing um, in various ways because of all the different relationships that um, kind of the misconnections that happen from not coming at the same time or from not having all the team members there, right? So there's a ton of that. And then if you watch my state of FinPub, which I launched um, the program for FMS with this year or and I posted it online, you know that my belief in, 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 that there's a ton of these new trader educators and newsletter writers and all kinds of people like there's been a boom in the creator space of kind of fin pub businesses that don't know that fin pub exists and so there is a, an exploding universe of other people who could be possible affiliates possible ad spot partners um share information you can recruit from do deals with like there's just all this additional stuff happening there's a lot of energy which is really great coming out of 2022 um which the first half of the year or 2022 2023 were um, things kind of fizzled and it was difficult and, and they, they turned back up. Um, and so there is just a ton of other opportunities for everybody basically um, through connecting. And it's not going to all happen in live events. And I love live events and I'm doing more live events um, that are going to be, um, I think, pretty exciting for me and everyone else too. But that's another story. Um, but for now, the reason I want to do FMS Pro is... I do see this opportunity and it's very visceral, right? I mean, hundreds of millions of dollars have flown through or have flowed through FMS over the years in terms of business generated for the industry and probably double that, if not more, has flowed through me personally in, in terms of just connections that I've made over the years 
um, all year long because it's not just, you know, there's a two day event and everyone's like, hey, I get most of my business and most of my opportunities for the year seem to be coming from those two days in, in at FMS. Um, and then I'm getting hit up constantly all year long, uh, making introductions, making connections, um, new people come in and I'm passing them around to other people and just trying to help everybody get more business done. Um, and so I know there's a lot more and there's a lot of stuff that I miss and, and, and things like that. And so my idea with having a online community just for those of us working in FinPub is to create a platform um, where you can get all that kind of opportunity and all the, those relationships and build those relationships and get new relationships all year long, 12 months out of the year, not just two days a year. Um, and that will free me up to do some things with FMS that I think will be even better for the live event um, that I've been hesitant to do just because I want to make sure that we don't um, impinge on kind of the, the stuff that's already great about it. Um, and so what I want to do is just kind of give you a rundown of what we're thinking here and what we put together. And very specifically, I want your feedback on how we can make an online community the most valuable and powerful for you um, to do the kind of business that you already do and to bring you the kind of relationships that would be the most valuable to you. Um, and so kind of like just to give you a quick overview, um, because the connections is, is only half of FMS Pro that, that and, and I'll get to the second half, which I think is even more important right now. Um, but the first half here is um, we're going to create, a, you know, we have basically chat channels, right? Um, uh, it's, it's a platform for everybody to connect. And we're going to break that, those channels up into kind of two broad areas in the beginning. Um, one is just general conversation about the business, which will be like FinPub chats in general. Um, and then we'll have um, kind of specific things for copy and promo, uh, media marketing, uh, ops, right? Um, the kind of areas where we have business. And this is this is in order for everyone to kind of like, when you have a problem, here's a solution. When you have something that, that you want to share, here's a place to do it. Create a, create a central place for everybody to kind of re reach out and connect and talk to everybody um, in the industry that's not public to, to the rest of the world. Um, and so that way, uh, you guys can highlight your own expertise. You can reach out to people. You can say, hey, I'm looking at this. Get more information. Just let the information flow and the relationships flow much more readily than it is now. That by itself, I think, would be a game changer. For, for everybody because of um, how isolated everybody tends to be in their business. And so having a place for you um, and members of your team to go out and kind of like get solutions from other folks, ask questions, share knowledge, um, and uh, build relationships in, in inside the industry, I think is going to be an enormous benefit to everybody. The same way that when FMS started, it became an enormous, it became a central hub and a cornerstone of the industry, right? Because it does this thing. And I think we can do better by doing it online. Um, and then the second part of the, the just the, the, the chat part of the community is going to be deal specific stuff, right? So I wanted to create a central hub where everybody who needs to do, um, who needs affiliate marketing um, relationships, just like whether you're a, an affiliate manager or you're looking for new partners or you have a new offer that you want to post and you just want to get it out to everybody real fast. Um, it's easy. It's 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 just there. We're not taking any top tier or anything like that. It's just there, because um, it's one of the standard deals that everyone does, and one of the, based on you know new relationships. There's a place exactly like that for ad swaps. So we want to create a place for everybody who does ad swaps um, to be able to post and say, "Hey, I'm open. This is what I got." Um, and uh, when you have something that you want to do, like you know cross promotion with, you can just post there. Or if you have a new staff member, you can just push point them to that. They can go through there, find all the folks that, that, that they should reach out to. Um, so kind of create some of those static, not static, but places that you can do the business development that is common to the space, which is affiliates, it's ad swaps. It's buying and selling media and traffic. So if you um, are an advertiser and you're buying traffic, you're always looking for new traffic lists that are, that are specific to the industry, we'll have a place where you can do that. Um, you can post for it if you're selling um, advertising or, or, or traffic. Um, or even it, on a regular basis or on a temporary basis, like, yeah, I just want to put some ads in my e-letter this, this month because I need to pick up some revenue. Um, there's a place for you to do that that will go out to everybody and, and you'll have lots and lots of folks um, to do business with. So just create a central online place that's private for the industry, to do the kind of deals that we do. Um, and that's one of the areas that I'm going to want your feedback on is kind of thinking about what is it that we should be putting in there for you guys. Um, uh, like we have a, you know, space for a job board, obviously that's, that's, I go six of six of one half to another on that one, because, uh, for a bunch of reasons, but, um, it will be there, I think, um, to begin with, so to kind of put, put things in there. It's, 
probably a great place for us to post all the folks that are that are looking for work at any given time. That's how it's been this last this last year is I've got a ton of folks and I have a new batch of folks who are awesome, um, who are looking for work. And so when you're recruiting that, that could be a really useful thing. And so that is the first part of FMS Pro, which is just the private, it's like kind of FMS, the back of the room of FMS online 12 months out of the year. Um, and I think we can add a lot of folks inside the industry. And then there's going to be a lot of ton or a lot of folks that are unaware that the industry exists, that we're going to do a lot of outside marketing to, to push them in that are doing things like they have profitable Substack newsletters, or they have a, they're a Twitter guy who has a um, paid discord community. And so that's why they're, you know, they can come in here, they're building the email list, but they don't know the industry the way that you, you, you guys know, um, because they haven't had these conversations. They don't have these folks um, to, to share information with and learn from. And so I think there'll be this huge impetus or influx, I should say, of um, new possible partners on all kinds of deals, um, which just brings money in, right? So for everybody. Um, and so that's the the first part. And so the first big question I have for you is, does that sound valuable to you, right? Do you, do you, do you see that there's an opportunity here to kind of get more stuff done um, for you and your team? And if you're a solo operator, there's an opportunity to be you can come in like that, or if you want to bring your team in so you can get all your community buyers and affiliate managers and um, marketers in there. Um, do you see how that could kind of add more opportunity for you, more revenue in the business uh, and make kind of make just doing business easier? Um, and if, if you don't like, tell me why, like, I, I want to know, but like um, more importantly, what are the things that we could include in here that would be the most useful to you to do business all year long? Right. And so, um, you know, I've thought about this in terms of like, you know, for some people it is just affiliates or it's ad swap partners, or maybe it's recruiting copywriters. And so I thought about, should we put a copywriter directory in there, um, where all the copywriters in the space can post their, their, their information when they're, when they're looking in samples, um, things like that. So what, what do you think would be the most useful things if we were going to have kind of an online community for the industry, um, uh, that would help you the most uh, and it would be exciting to you to kind of get stuff done. Um, so that's generally the first half of this the second half and this is where i think there's a a real strong need is there isn't a central place for industry-wide training right marketing training copy training things like that and i'm not trying to be the person who's training what i'm doing is um in this community in fms pro um i think that um or not, not i think i have talked to a ton of folks like brett holmes like david Dittman. Um, people who have, you know, come to FMS and, and spoke and done some really great trainings. Um, there's a lot of folks, Andrew Taylor, other things like that, that, that have really shared some amazing information. And um, what I want to do is create a centralized hub for FinPub specific training, not just on the one hand, you have the newsletter side and the other side, you have the trader education side, and then you have like kind of the financial media side. Um, there, there, is a lot, there are a lot of people who come into the industry as you know members of, of a team who don't know the industry. And so there'd be great to have a place that kind of educates them on all kinds of things. And then um, kind of like we can do these big presentations at FMS, there's a lot of stuff that is smaller, that is more niche, um, even inside the industry that maybe is super useful for some people, but not for enough people to be up on the big stage. And so I don't always, you know, there's, there's just a lot of stuff that we don't put up there that we could. And so this would create opportunities for that. So for instance, you know, at FMS, Zach did a fantastic presentation and he mentioned that he has a guy who um, will help you train and build and figure out how to build an internal um, sales team um, on the phones, right? Because they do so much business on the phones. Um, that guy, John Carden, um, I'm going to be interviewing him and kind of talking about that, but I'd like to have him do a little more training and then come in here and actually like have a con let, let people ask me questions. Um, maybe we do some live stream stuff. Maybe we'll do some recording um, with AMAs, like ask me anything where like we'll post it. And then the next day we'll have the person that we interviewed or did the training um, come in and just like be available to ask questions and things like that. And so um, I do think that there is a, a need to do a ton of training across all kinds of areas, um, both on the ops and marketing and media side. Um, copy is a little bit different, so we'll get to that second. But, um, and so what I'm doing is, we're going to do inside FMS Pro just a monthly, um, like actual training, um, where I'll bring some somebody in the industry or from outside the industry for relevant topics that is um, an expert in an area and has actually implemented the things, not just like you know theoretical marketing guru, um, people who are actually implementing stuff to come in and train and then answer questions um, 
for everyone in the community. Um, and so um, my question around that is, you know, are there specific areas where you feel like it would be super useful to bring somebody in? Um, I think there's a lot of core training on email marketing and things like that, that there's a lot of folks who may be on your team, like you need somebody who could just train them. Um, we can bring that person in for everybody. Uh, and so if you have an area that you would like to see marketing training on, I would love to hear about it because we're planning out our schedule for the year and I'm going to get a lot of amazing folks as it is. But I think I don't want this to just be like what I think I want this to be, again, it's a community. And so um, as I'm getting ready to launch this, I want to know what are the areas where you think that there's opportunity or for you to, to either increase your own knowledge or um, have people on your team, right? Learn more. So there's stuff like, you know, you know, email marketing and renewal campaigns and all those kind of things that are core to the business. Um, and there's also AI usage, right? Like bringing in experts on production and um, helping speed up your copy process and all that kind of stuff that we can bring in um, to offer trainings and tools and useful things for everybody. And so that's one area again. And the second part of the training side is I think one of the things that I love um, is uh, how much copy and promo. I mean, it's one of the beautiful things about this industry um, in a lot of ways is how much copy and promo um, drives things because, and the, I think it's beautiful because I'm an idea guy, I'm a creative guy, I love it. Um, so I wanna do a marketing call every month, but I also wanna do a copy call. We'll bring in a top copywriter um, or a publisher or someone and, and do kind of the same thing, just a copy specific call, whether it's a training, whether it's one of the sessions where we get a copywriter with a media buyer or a media buying team. And we talk about ideas that are working out in the space right now in different parts and segments of the space, whether it's on the trading side or on the, the newsletter side. Um, so um, bringing in folks that can focus on, hey, here's here's what copy looks like on this specific type of package or campaign, right? Like, is it a guru package? Um, is there, uh, you know, these are some of the best tech trend packages or front ends or back ends or whatever it is. Um, and just have an ongoing copy um, call for, um, I don't, I don't want to say it's training because copy is such a, artistic thing in, in a lot of ways for a lot of people um some people it's science some people it's art some it's a mix um but it's more of increasing everyone's copy expertise um and it's a from from my standpoint it's a huge idea generator right because even if you don't use what the person on a call is saying um it, often what it does is it sparks a lot of ideas and so i i think there's an enormous amount of value that's hard to quantify and just having like a FinPub specific copy call where everybody can hop on um, and use it to, to generate ideas, right? And so that's the two main pieces of the, the additional training that we're gonna put in. And then I'm gonna also add, cause I keep, I'm gonna keep doing the, the things that I do in the YouTube channel, um, but I wanna add um, an Ask Me Any, Anything session with the guests that I have on that. So we'll post it and then whenever I have a guest on there, we'll schedule time let everyone know hey we're gonna, we're gonna be in the in the community answering questions here and so bring everybody into the conversation um a ton more so that's the idea that's what i'm doing um that's what fms pro is going to be it's ready to go pretty much um just kind of making sure everything fits together and um we'll be launching it and going live um probably within a week here um but before i do that i want to see what do you guys think um, we can add and kind of adjust the content plan, program plan, and kind of the, the community conversation part um, on the go. And I'm assuming that as we go, we will, we will definitely um, have changes over time here because uh, this is a new, new kind of community. I haven't run the private community like this um, in a very long time. I do have some people who are on here, like Jack uh, Regan, who's run 20,000 person communities before. Um, we've done a lot uh, to make sure that we have a, a team that can manage putting a real um, effort into um, making this super hyper engaged in the community and making this valuable to everybody. But the most important part of any type of community is all of the members of the community, which you are hopefully going to be one of. Um, and that's why I want to get your feedback. I want to make sure that this is something that one makes sense to you too, that if there are areas that you'd be excited to see um, some kind of marketing training on, um, or if you have like some expertise that you, you'd love to feature to the, to the industry, um, I want to start to hear that. So please do actually comment on this video with those kind of things. Like um, a lot of times when I put, put stuff out, rather than comment, people email and text me and everything. And then I get all these things all over the place. But I'd love to just, if you wouldn't mind, just like kind of actually commenting here and, and letting me know 
Um, and if you have something that you don't want to put public and you just want to hit me up, you know, and you have my info, just hit me up too. But um, it's always funny to me that I'm like, sometimes my best videos have the least online engagement and the most personal phone calls, texts, DMs, which I'm like, it's not going to help the video on the algorithm, <laughs> um, which doesn't really matter actually to me. But uh, anyway, that's what it is. FMS Pro is coming. It's going to be the first really robust private community for the FMS community, for all the folks here in FinPub. Um, and I want you involved. We're going to give everyone a chance to test drive it, right? There's not going to be, you have to make a final decision. Like, hey, we're going to just sell this and, and push it. I, it's going to be paid because it's, it's you know, putting putting a gatekeeper on it um, with, with a credit card is the easiest way to kind of keep the people who are not really in the community out. And we want just folks in the community. So there will be a team op option um, and... Uh, there is going to be an option, I think, for um, those of you who are running teams, publishers and things like that, um, to do like a monthly virtual um, mastermind. Um, if you like that idea, let me know. If you don't like that idea, let me know. Um, but again, the whole point of this video today is to kind of let you know what's coming in order to get your feedback, um, to get your ideas, to see how we can make this valuable to you. Um, so please leave a comment. Um, I don't know how much longer we'll keep posting all the content that I do do already on in full on, on, on here on YouTube. But what, what I'm probably going to end up doing is um, putting some of it on here and then some of it's going to just go in there. So um, I really think that there's an opportunity to create a real, real central hub um, for the business to, to for everyone to do business, but also a central training hub um, that could have a, a lot more a lot more stuff in there and have some more organized things like courses on just FinPub specific things. And so if any of that stuff is interesting to you or you have any ideas around it, please let me know in the comments, all right? Uh, and with that, check it, watch out for your email. Um, I guess I'll post on here too on YouTube. Um, uh, when we go live, um, it's coming in the next uh, week or so. So uh, I'll get the dates out to everybody and I hope uh, this is as exciting to you as it is to me, all right? Take care, bye.